Hello and welcome to Five Day with Jay. I am your host, J.R. Murdoch. How are you doing? Wonderful. Thank you for joining me. I'm so glad you're here. Today is a weird day. For 24 years working with the company I'm at, I have never had this day off. They changed that for 2021 and I lost five vacation days. I picked up three new holidays today being one of them. So weird that I'm not working today. I still got up the normal time, went and took care of oil changes on my car and my favorite daughter joined me with her car. So we got her car done as well. I went to the dealership, got that taken care of. Vehicles are all happy, got the tires rotated, all that fun stuff came back did some work in the backyard. Actually, I took a really long break and read for a little while. Played a little game on my phone, you know, just um, took care of some cleaning up the backyard, moving stuff around. We got a little hill, finally finished raking all the leaves off that hill. If you've been watching my time lapses, there's one tree that's in my backyard that's in most of my time lapses, and most of the leaves are finally gone. I live in Southern California. Winter doesn't happen here. Winter happens elsewhere. That's why I live in Southern California. And I do have a number of friends that are impacted by the Midwest power outages, uh, especially in Texas. So if you are impacted, I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying warm. I hope you have precautions in place to handle the situation. If you're living in Southern California, this is why we live in Southern California. Don't have to deal with that course florida is the same situation they're plenty warm as well not a lot happening there it is a little cooler than normal cloudier than normal these things happen but southern california it's i expect mild weather i grew up in minnesota as i've mentioned on this many many times so i had a reason to move to southern california i don't like the snow i lived in colorado it's fun to go play in the snow but when you're shoveling a foot of snow out of your driveway just to get your car out to go to work and you had to wake up an hour and a half early, two hours early, so you could dig that driveway out. I never had snow plows. I was broke growing up. So, I mean, it it was shoveling snow. In Minnesota, we had to shovel snow off our roof to make sure that the roof wouldn't collapse. We would go to the neighbor's house and make money helping them shovel off their roofs. They shoveled a lot of roofs. You don't think about these things, but when you get a lot of snow, you got to make that snow go away. It was interesting growing up in that environment. At any rate, I'm not here to talk about snow. I'm here to talk about other things. One of the things I did today, I've backed a number of campaigns, Kickstarter campaigns from Dean Wesley Smith, Chris Rush, the media group. Um, WMG. I've backed a lot of campaigns from them over the years. I was going through my emails. Every so often, you got to clean your email. And I'm going through, oh, hey, wait, this campaign ended. I forgot to get my stretch goals. So I'm going through getting my stretch goals, downloading them. I keep going back. I'm like, oh my gosh, this one's from 2019. And most of them campaigns would have here's the stretch goal here's the code to go get the stretch goal the stretch goals for a lot of the wmg campaigns were lecture series or workshop series from dean wesley smith and chris rush i went and picked all the ones up that were there until i got to these ones from 2019 and there were three of them from 29 actually two one from 2018 two from 2019 don't know why i never went and got them but on there unfortunately it says send an email I never sent the email. So I just sent that email off to Dean Wesley Smith. Uh, I don't expect him to say yes. If he does, awesome bonus. If he says no, I 100% understand it is on me, my fault. I have other lectures and workshop series from them that I can go through and watch from other stretch goals, from other campaigns I've backed. Won't impact me. It would be nice to have them. Would love to go through them. If you are ever interested in writing resources, Dean Wesley Smith and the, uh, let's see, it's uh, wmgpublishing.workshops. Wow, over on Teachable. Just look up WMG 
on teachable.com. I'll, I'll put a link in the show notes so you can check that out. But a lot of courses that he has out there, a lot of them, they're just video courses. You watch, gives you instructions on everything regarding writing, a writing career, taxes, copyright, all of that, all of that wonderful information. If you want to know how to write, what to write, how to market it, all that stuff, they got all kinds of courses and lectures over there. The lectures are 50 bucks a pop. The courses are 150 bucks a pop. I highly recommend them. They are wonderful. Most of the ones I've got, I went through and I got because I backed their Kickstarter campaigns and they stretch goals. They give away lectures and workshops. So for 30, 40 bucks, you're picking up a lecture and a workshop. That's a $200 value for 30, 40 bucks. Why wouldn't I back their campaigns? That said, if you're looking for writing advice, I will not be doing that on this channel. That is not my goal. That is not my intent. That is not what I want to do over here. There are lots of resources you can go and find writing advice. I'll link to a couple down below that I feel are good podcasts and blogs for you to go follow that discuss the business of writing, writing in general, and give you a lot of information that you would need. Go check them out. They're fun to check out. At any rate, I've decided to start recording earlier than I normally do. I want to get the recording out of the way. That way, while it's uploading, I can sit down and write. We're almost at 12,000 words with GRPC3. Moving right along. I took the weekend off, as I mentioned I was going to do. Just relax. De-stress my brain. Some interesting things that happened is while sitting down and waiting... It took a while at the dealership for the cars or the oil change. Sat down to read. If you've ever wondered where ideas come from, they just pop into your head. They really do. I was reading a couple of short stories from an anthology called The Weird, edited by Jeff Vandermeer. I've talked about Jeff Vandermeer before. He's an oddball. This book confirms it. It's all short stories, old, old short stories, pulp stories. But just reading the stories, boom, trigger, boom, trigger, boom, trigger, cut three different short story ideas just from reading one short story. And I'm like, oh, wait, I could do that. Oh, wait, oh, I could do that. Oh, wait. I don't know if this is ADD or just how my brain works, but when I read, I will get an idea and I'll keep my, my eyes will keep on looking at words, but my brain is writing a story. So I need to go through and I, I've made notes on those three ideas I'll flush them out. We'll move on from there. But again, I'll link to that book below in the show notes. Great spot to get some ideas on writing is reading short stories. Short stories always, for me, trigger something. Reading a novel, sometimes I'll get little inklings of stuff that, hey, that's kind of cool how they did that, kind of cool how they did this. When it comes to reading short stories, they just, I just get idea after idea after idea. I'm trying to read more short stories right now. I back a couple of people on Patreon for short stories. Ideas just, once they start coming, they just do not stop. That's kind of how it works with my brain. How's it work with your brain? I'm kind of curious. Um, leave me a comment in the notes. I'd love to hear from you. At any rate, a little bit shorter than normal this evening. I know I keep calling it Five a Day with Jay. You know, we're not going to change the name. We're going to keep it Five a Day with Jay even if we go 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatnot. So a little under 10 minutes tonight, I'm going to go get some writing done. It's been a holiday for me. It's been a good day. At any rate, thank you for joining me. I've been J.R. Murdoch. You've been awesome. <laughs>